Okay, this is the last set in the, uh, the fourth one in the new feature sets that I want you to know about in Camtasia Studio version 8.1. This has to do with green screen. A lot of people do like to use green screen because you can kind of put this nice background behind you or make it look like you're you're doing a presentation from space or from uh, the gr from uh, from the Grand Canyon uh, or something like that okay or from an office space or something like that okay so green screen is fine but the thing is is a lot of times you can uh, you can kind of tell right it's like bad CG sometimes where you can kind of tell when someone is just you know they're uh, they're just overlaying green screen in the background so my guidance actually is to not use green screen just for the sake of using them because they're fun otherwise if you're looking for a white background or something like that then just get yourself a white background or a black background or something or or just you know put yourself in a nice room uh, a nice office kind of a setting all that being said green screen was a big effect that a lot of people were asking for now there's some things that are key about green screen effects okay lighting is very key so my guidance is if you can't get your lighting correct then don't do green screen uh, because you can't skimp on that. You got to have your key light that shines on your face, but you also got to have then lights that is going to shine on the green screen panel itself. So here's my quick and dirty video, green screen behind me here, and that's on the clip on the timeline. All right, so now what I want to be able to do is maybe make myself appear to have this to be in front, uh, uh, talking in front of, let's say, this this panel here okay this this imagery the thing is it isn't just as simple as say taking it and putting it behind me on the timeline because as you can see um, as we learned in earlier videos whatever is on top of the other clip okay in terms of track uh, escalation or track hierarchy well my video is just going to kind of overblow that it's going to overlay it and it's just going to totally cover it up so what we have to do is we have to remove some of this some of this coloring so where we have green we're going to tell Camtasia to remove that green for us all right such that then this other uh, image underneath will then just show through wherever green used to be all right so that's essentially the idea so all we're going to do here is under the visual properties menu now in, in, in version 8.1 is where you have this you scroll down a little bit and see this little item here that says checkbox that says remove a color just click that little guy ideally speaking if you can click this color icon over here or this color drop down choose the select a color eyedropper here it'll change your cursor to an eyedropper and what you're going to do is you're going to select the area of the screen that you want to that represents the color that you want to remove but here's what I want to show you see where that little tool tip is showing R uh, 65 G 177 and then B 89 well in the realm of computer color codes that's called an RGB code but now notice if I come down to another part of this notice how that changes now we're at red 65 green 169 and blue 93 okay sounds like a sounds like I want to say hike like football okay so but the point is that's why your color your lighting has to be uh, has to be pristine it has to be kind of clean across your, your entire backdrop here okay so let me just go ahead and select a color that kind of represents the most uh, the most uh, part of my green screen here so I'm just going to select that notice how it just immediately removed that color so such that now when we take that picture and we put it on the track underneath it which for all intents and purposes is behind it now I can then take that picture here in the timeline extend it for the entire duration of the, the timeline to the left and to the right so it matches the duration of the video clip and we can center myself now you can see how this whole thing works so now this guy is sitting there talking in front of this whole uh, this office setting all right now you also learned in previous video how you can group clips this is an extra bonus I want to show you here so now the trick is if you actually select both of those the the video and the image and then you come over here and you group both of those guys now what you can actually do is take that whole thing and scale it down as your own little picture in picture and so you, then you can uh, take any other um, take a screencast and whatever screencast you're talking about or another PowerPoint presentation that you might be able to mash into uh, uh, to this and just put that on the bottom timeline let's say we're using this as our PowerPoint presentation that we're using here All right, so I'm gonna put that down on track one now you can kind of see how our little picture in picture guy might be talking over a PowerPoint presentation here and that's how you can use a green screen effect and you have like maybe me presenting from an office setting and uh, talking through a PowerPoint presentation alright so those are some of the new effects uh, in uh, in Camtasia Studio version 8.1 again if you haven't gotten that yet you want to go ahead and get it alright I'll see you in the next video